This is Hope Television. Proudly serving the Toledo District. Greetings everyone. With your daily word, I am Patrick Jones. There is a saying I have heard a few times which says that what you don't know can't hurt. That is not altogether true because if we die without accepting Jesus as our personal friend and savior, we most certainly will spend all eternity separated from the loving God. Open your Bible with me to Matthew chapter 26, reading from verse 36 to 46. Reading for you from the New International Version. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken away from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray, so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed a third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come, and the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Our feature verse today is found at Matthew chapter 26 and verse 41. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The story is told of a German bank employee who was in the middle of transferring 62.40 euros from a customer's bank account when he accidentally took a power nap at his desk. He dozed off, dozed off with his finger on the two key, resulting in a 222 million euro or 300 million dollar transfer into the customer's account. The fallout from the mistake included the firing of the employee's colleague who verified the transfer. Although the mistake was caught and corrected because he hadn't been watchful, the sleepy employee's lapse almost became a nightmare for the bank. Brothers and sisters, Jesus warned his disciples that if they didn't remain alert, they too would make a costly mistake. He took them to a place called Gethsemane to spend some time in prayer. As he prayed, Jesus experienced a grief and sadness such as he had never known in his earthly life. He asked Peter, James, and John to stay awake to pray and keep watch with him, according to Matthew chapter 26 and verse 38. But they fell asleep. Their failure to watch and pray would leave them defenseless when the real temptation of denying him came calling. In the hour of Christ's greatest need, the disciples lacked spiritual vigilance. May we heed Jesus' words to remain spiritually awake by being more devoted to spending time with him in prayer. 
As we do, he'll strengthen us to resist all kinds of temptations and avoid the costly mistake of denying Jesus. Brothers and sisters, as we go about our daily activities today, think about what part of our prayer life needs to be more devoted and disciplined. How can we be intentionally spending more time alone with God today? Our prayer should be Jesus. Because I've been spiritually sleeping, I haven't been praying. And because I haven't been praying, I haven't depended on you. I'm sorry. Please help me to spend more time with you. Amen. Have a blessed and a productive day, everyone. Then join us again next time for another Daily Word.